And now, ladies and gentlemen, the world-famous Latin Casino proudly presents the star of our show, Mr. Richard Pryor. We are gathered here today on this sorrowful occasion to say goodbye to the dearly departed. He was dearly and he has departed. Thus, that's why we call him the dearly departed. In other words, the nigga dead. As you can see him laying here, I've been here three days, the boy ain't moved a muscle. So I know the nigga dead. And it seemed that death was quite a surprise to his ass. <laughs> Didn't think you was ever gonna die, did you, nigga? Mm, I told you about fucking around what was gonna happen. However, he faced the ultimate test. As each man and woe man must eventually face the ultimate test. And the ultimate test is, let me repeat that. The ultimate test is, whether or not you can survive death. That's the ultimate test for your ass, ain't it? <laughs> so far, don't nobody we know have passed the ultimate. Least of all, this nigga laying here. Because this boy wasn't shit. I'm going to tell you that right off. I saw him kicking his mama's ass over there on 47th Street. And if you think we're going to bury you with them diamonds and shit on, you got another thing coming. I'd like to introduce the boy's woman, whole bitch. I don't know what she was, huh? She's laying over there in the boot. What? Say, girl, what you doing? Well, don't sound no pussy in here. If you do, I want to cut. Shit. Yo fault the nigga dead. You'd have been home when you were supposed to be. He wouldn't have been up in the hotel fucking that faggot. <laughs> Boy's husband came home, caught him fucking, shot the nigga in the ass on the downstroke. <laughs> and if there is a God or heaven, we don't want this nigga up there with us. Can I get an amen? Yeah. <laughs> Good God. Oh, a lot of niggas here today. Some white folks, too. Look at this. You motherfuckers come in a bunch, did you? Stick with me, don't worry about a thing, just come on. Shorty to white people lately. I ain't seen no white folks no more. Y'all stop fucking? <laughs> white folks into yoga. You can't get no nut doing no yoga. You got to get the pussy. <laughs> They stopped fucking because some rich white man told them, said, Look, come on, cut the crap. <laughs> Jesus Christ, there's too many people on earth. I have no place to ride my horsey. There will be no shortage of niggas. Niggas is fucking. 
We got to have somebody here to take over. White folks tart our ass too. They're getting them some new niggas. The Vietnamese. But bring them over, bring all of them over. Niggas won't mind. They didn't ask us shit. <laughs> we the motherfuckers got to give the jobs up for them. <laughs> Motherfuckers, I know why they like them motherfuckers, too. Because they got the kind of music they can dance to. <laughs> they try to dance to bad luck, motherfucker, get a heart attack. Damn, is it never going to stop? It was funny, man, pleading for the orphans and shit. God, we've got to do something. The little orphans, oh my goodness. Bitch almost had me going get an orphan. <laughs> People in Mississippi, white folks in Georgia and shit, adopting babies. Shit gonna last about a year. And that racism gonna come out. <laughs> God damn. What in the hell we got here, Marco? <laughs> Ain't your eyes ever going round up? Look like one of the neighborhood coons. <laughs> and I'm for orphans now. You know, don't get me wrong. I like orphans. But shit, they got 10 million niggas here need to be adopted. <laughs> they got a show in L.A. on TV. They be selling niggas for adoption on the TV. You ever see those shows? Get one of these niggas, please. <laughs> this big head one here. He's all right. I'd take him home, but I have a dog. <laughs> Got all the Vietnamese in the, in the army camps and shit, taking tests and stuff, learning how to say nigger. <laughs> so they can become good citizens. <laughs> right, they got classes, you know they have. All right, let's try again, tropes. Nigger, nigger, nigger. Nigger, 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 nigger. That's close. If you get your ass kicked, you know you made it. <laughs> you gotta be careful fighting them motherfuckers too, Jack. Cause they know karate and kung fu and new jitsu and all that old shit, you know. And be hollering at your ass while they kick it. <laughs> I don't mind a motherfucker kicking my ass, but don't be hollering at me, too. Make me mad or cry to this motherfucker. <laughs> and if you ain't done it, be careful if you get some Vietnamese pussy, Jack. Right? Because they got a VD scare the shit out of penicillin. <laughs> It'd be up there waiting on penicillin, Jack. Come on up in here, Pinner. Yeah, we got something for your ass. Come on up in here. <laughs> Get a big knot on your dick. <laughs> what is it, Doc? <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to touch it. I don't. Just leave it over there or whatever it is. <laughs> I snorted cocaine for about 15 years with my dumb ass. I must have snorted up Peru. <laughs> I could have bought Peru all the shit I snorted. Could have just gave him the money up front and had me a piece of property. <laughs> I started off snorting little tiny pinches. Said, I know I ain't gonna get hooked. I don't know coke, you can't get hooked. My friends have been snorting 15 years, they ain't hooked. <laughs> I started snorting little teeny, didn't even make noise. Coke etiquette, Jack. Pass the album, please. No more for me. Six months later. <laughs> Licking the album shit. <laughs> Trying to get a freeze. 
Somebody told me you put it on your dick, you could fuck all night. Right? Shouldn't have told me that. <laughs> my dick had a Jones. <laughs> $600 a day just to get my dick hard. <laughs> And you get weird sexual fantasies, too, when you be on go. Just think of some weird, baby, I got a great idea. I want you to go out on the roof. I'm gonna run around the house three times. On the third time, I want you to jump off on my face. <laughs> got a witness. <laughs> Them niggas point at each other. <laughs> <laughs> niggas will not admit to giving up no head. <laughs> not yet, even. Uh uh, no, nah. Not the kid. Uh uh, no. Nah. Nah, I ain't no termite. Mm -mm. Uh. <laughs> Be lying their ass off. And black women like head, but they won't kiss you afterward, right? No, 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 it's bad for your teeth. No, no, no. It's better to give than receive. <laughs> and dudes be trying to talk a lot of shit on cocaine too, right? Be thinking they making plenty of sense. Don't be saying shit. I be uh, shit, I Nixon shit, man, my shit, got him. <laughs> and the pimps get psychotic when they get high. <laughs> Them motherfuckers get all the moves together, right? Shit, I'm down in it. I got you now. You know what I mean? I'm uh, now the men scream on me. See, I'm gonna make it. You know, I got five hundred. You know, talking about the men. I got you know. I'm trying to wait on the line. You know, I'm on the over in the dark. Yeah. No, no, nigga, this is I'm doing. I'm like, you know, I'm gonna hold the mess. I ain't holding the motherfucking thing. You know, I'm gonna get it, huh? Ha 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 ha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, huh? Yeah. I'm ready for Freddy, you know what I mean? And right now, niggas be holding them dicks too, Jack. <laughs> White people go, why do you guys hold your things? <laughs> so you done took everything else, motherfucker. <laughs> Nigga be checking. <laughs> you can't tell nobody not to snort no coke, cause motherfuckers gonna snort anyway. It took me a long time to learn that shit, kid. Man, but a big booger came out my nose, scared the shit out of me. That <laughs> motherfucking black one this long. I said, God damn, Lord, please, I'll quit, please. Just, just let it stop. <laughs> I was in jail too, man. It's cold-blooded in the jail. Nixon wouldn't have lasted two days. They'd have turned him out. All right, niggas was waiting on Nixon to come to jail. <laughs> What's happening, Tricky Dick? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna see how tricky you are. <laughs> Couldn't you see Nixon right? Let me make this perfectly clear. <laughs> I went to jail for income tax evasion, right? You know, I didn't know a motherfucking thing about no taxes. I told the judge, said, Your Honor, I forgot. You know, he said, You remember next year, nigga? Start writing on your ass. <laughs> they give niggas time like it's lunch down there. <laughs> you go down there looking for justice, that's what you find, just us. <laughs> Day one nigga, 40 years, man. I saw the judge at 40 years straight up. 40 years, boom. That's right, fella, 40 years. You want some more time, buddy? And the dude had a court-appointed lawyer, right, copping a plea for him. He said, Your Honor, this man is not a heroin dealer per se. He's being manipulated by these people. He was merely trying to get enough monies together 
to help his dear mom. She had a spinal condition. So he needed an operation. And he didn't have the funds to do this, Your Honor. And he was merely trying to raise the money. He tried every odd job he could, and he could not raise the money. <clears throat> when the officers caught him with the 280 kilos, <laughs> he was trying to purchase a hospital in the Bahamas. <laughs> <laughs> Judge said, motion denied. <laughs> Nigga was so fucked up when they led him away. He said, thank you, Your Honor. <laughs> Made me mad, too, Jack. You know, I said, get that motherfucker 40 years. That's cold blooded. That motherfucker sentenced me, but he ain't gonna get my dignity. Kiss my ass, Jack. I step right up to that shit. I said, what it is? <laughs> huh? Run it down. Judge said, what are you doing the next couple of months, Mr. Pryor? Well, I'll be helping cripple children and <laughs> anything I can for humanity, sir. <laughs> I had my pants all down by my ankles when he was finished. Just don't stick it in too far, Your Honor, please. <laughs> you got to be funny in jail, give up the booty. <laughs> Wasn't nobody fucking me, no place. I made niggas laugh all day long. <laughs> keep the, keep their mind off the booty. Just <laughs> a nigga tried to fuck me, you'd have read about it in Jet. <laughs> Been picture of the week. Because <laughs> doctors be done. Mr. Pryor, would, would you let the dick go now, please? <laughs> We just want to sew it back on the body. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I was born in P. O. Illinois. That's the city, nigga. <laughs> you probably wouldn't know nothing about that, see? Old country ass boy. And when I was little, there was an old man, his name was Mudbone, and he dipped snuff, and he'd sit in front of the barbecue pit, and he'd spit. See, that was his job. I'm pretty sure that was his job, because eh? well, that's all he did. But he'd tell stories, fascinating stories. Eh? He was fascinating. And I loved him. It made me very happy. Because well, I'd stay with him and listen to this stuff. See, you're lying to someone when you're living in old people. They ain't all fools. You don't get to be old being no fools. <laughs> so, a lot of young wise men, they're dead in the motherfucker. Ain't <laughs> so, He'd sit out there and tell these stories. And he said, when I first came up here from Tupelo, Mississippi, I drove up here in a tractor. That's right, 746 miles on one tank of gas. He <laughs> said, I had to leave Tupelo because I was working down there. I was in charge of the levee in Lawrence County. So one night they left a bus and they blamed it on me. See? And shit, ain't a nigga in the world can hold back no water when they want to go. <laughs> and they asked me, say, why didn't you warn the people? Well, shit, I couldn't be running through that water warning nobody. They were going to find out sooner or later anyway. <laughs> I worked for this white man his name was Bud Jenner. And I worked for him, he was all right to work for, see? He was all right for a white man, he wasn't bad, see? But he had a son named Junior, he was cockeyed. We called him Cockeyed Junior. And he was hard to work for, man, because his eyes went ever what you wait, see? He said, nigga, pick that up, you know, and four or five niggas been down, see?
he fell in love with this girl from Pittsburgh. I went to the depot to pick her up. See, I had a horse named Ginger. I hooked her up, went down, Ginger, went down there, picked her up at the depot. She got off the train. Big woman weighed about 460 pounds. She got off the train sideways. They was pushing her ass off of them. <laughs> well, I saw her. I said, well, she's fine for him. He cock-eyed. It don't mean nothing to him. <laughs> and I walked over to her, introduced her. I said, ma'am, Miss Ma'am, no name Mudbone. And I tipped my hat. Bitch slapped me across my head. <laughs> said, nigga, pick up the bag. So I said, God damn. What kind of shit? I ain't never got damn. What kind of shit? You know, I said this to myself. Oh, in them days, that's all a nigga could do was get mad, see? So I got mad. And I tried to help her in the bucket. The bitch snatched away from me. You know, oh, up at the bitch, see? Say, goddamn. She stepped on the bucket and the goddamn thing turned over on her. <laughs> well, I couldn't laugh. <laughs> I had to bite a hole in my goddamn lip. Blood trickling down, didn't you? Heart stepped all in her face up. <laughs> I took my time by getting that buggy off of him. So I set it up for him, helped her in the buggy, and I was getting home, you know, going home. Bitch leaned over and slapped me upside the head again. One of them good ones, too, sounded pay out. I said, maybe this bitch shot me. Shit. <laughs> well, we kept on home. I'm thinking of shit to do with her now, see. So I got home, went to the tool shed, and got me one of them Craig jigsaw, and I sawed the bottom out of the outhouse. Then I hid in the bushes and waited for this big collard green eating bitch to go to the bathroom. <laughs> well, long about 8.30, she come this to go in the bathroom. I'm in the, in the bushes looking at her. She wobbled out to the outside and then opened the door, went in, shut the door. I heard a big splash. That's when I got in the tractor and drove up here. I wasn't mad no more either. When I met when I got up here was Stoney on the barber shop used to give bootleg haircuts. That was like 25 cents for haircut, see? And he give you what they call the bowl cut. Then they put a bowl on your head and they cut around it. Made all the niggas look Chinese. Because that's the only way you could get a job on the railroads. Ain't no niggas, see? Niggas want real money. Chinese work for that yang money, see? Nigga didn't want that shit, see? Well, that's the best you can do, though. You didn't get it. So, Chinese are funny people, boy. You know what they can do? Eat with sticks. Swear to God, I seen the Chinese man have two sticks like this and a bowl of food didn't drop a goddamn stack. Nigga lose three pounds of food with a knife and fork. So, I had this friend, my partner, his name was Tootlin, see? Old big nigga, big robot nigga, see? Worked over at the foundry, lifting motors, see? That's right, made about 38 cents an hour. That was big money in them days, see? So, he could lie his ass. All that nigga could tell a lie. That's how we became friends, see? He tell a lie, I tell a lie, see? And we compliment each other's lies, see? He make me laugh all day long. He told me this lie one time. He told me about the nigga with the big dick. He said, yeah, you ever heard? The nigga had the bigger dick in the wall. And they were trying to find a place where they could have their contest. And they wasn't no freak. They didn't want everybody looking. So they walking around looking for a secret place. So they walked across the Golden Gate Bridge. The nigga sent that water and made them all the best. I said, man, I got to take a leak. He pulled his brain out. He said, oh, you need to pull his out. And then he said, God damn, it's water cold. (laughs) 
Other niggas say, yeah, and it's deep too. Walking lie in there, though. Yeah, and it's deep too. God damn it, it's a joke. So the nigga got sick, see? I told him he was messing with this girl from Louisiana. And I said, boy, you better leave that help alone, see? Because I know she knows something. See? What she did was she put a hex on his ass. That's right, and made that nigga thick. Boy's feet swole up like this. Hands shriveled up. Blood was coming out of his eye. When I sleep, the nigga scared the shit out of me. I'm gonna shoot him at you. Goddamn nigga, you sick. He said, any fool can see that. He said, tell me what kind of sickness I got. I said, well, what's the symptom? What? The symptom my ass, you looking at the symptom. Said my goddamn feet are swollen up and look like elephant foot. Said my arms are weak, blood coming out my ass. Plus, I'm in love with a bitch I can't stand. Well, shit, right away, I know what's wrong, see. I said, boy, that girl didn't put a motor on your ass. Said, I'll take you over to Jefferson, where the voodoo lady them have a fix it for you. See, because the voodoo lady named Miss Rudolph lived over there to do it. That was her name, Miss Rudolph, see. They named her after that deer. And she was good, too, man. She had this monkey's foot around her neck and a three-legged monkey. Yeah. And that monkey didn't give her no trouble. That monkey fucked with everybody but her, see? And this monkey's foot stuck all to be down. And she says, smelt that way to keep the spirits and most people's away. Well, it worked on me because it's been eight years since I seen the bitch, see? So, come this we went over there. I had a 33 packet stopped out a little bit. Maybe you did. Maybe you did. Right? We get over there. I'm the one got the knock on the door. So I go up to the door and knock on the door. She opened the door, man. The thump rushed out the house, knocked me to my goddamn knees. And I'm looking up at her. She ain't got all no Brazil. And the biggest titties in the world, they were swollen up, looked like that nigga's feet. And she had a tattoo on each titter. Had a big eye on one titter and a pair of lips on the other. And I'm praying to God I ain't got to kiss nothing, see? So I was looking at this titter looking at me and it looked like it winked at me. She said, boy, get your ass in here. Get off the floor. So I walk into the house. I'm kind of nervous because Bugs and shit crawling around all on the floor. So the goddamn bat flying around like this, see? Now this monkey comes in from fucking with me. Jumped all over my neck and shit. And it felt funny because he got them little monkey hands. Be fucking with your ears, you know? And I'm trying to act like I'm petting this motherfucker, but I'm poking him in the eye. Get him off me, see? Because I don't want to offend this bitch with this monkey foot, see? Because she scratch your ass with that foot that's all over. And I said, Miss Rudolph, Miss Rudolph, please, can you do something about the monkey? She said, I don't have to do shit about the monkey. The monkey lives here, nigga. You bitching. <laughs> well, shit, I had to accept that, see. So I explained to her what was happening. She said, my partner's sick. He needs to lose the talk. He can be so kind of a help. So the speech was rolled up. She was all messed up. I said, now, first of all, I got to explain to you, I don't have no money. I said, I'm, I'm posing as a Chinaman working on the railroad. And all I got is that Yang money. She said, no, I don't want none of that. She said, what you do, though, come Thanksgiving, bring me by a goose or a turkey. That's all right. I said, well, shit, that's fine with me. Because it was June then. <laughs> but I don't ever see this bitch no more in life. It's all right with me, see. And just about that time, a big motherfucking tarantula, this big, crawled up my arm, round my neck, almost shit on myself, man. Went down this arm, under my hand, I tried to mash him. When I lift my hand up, he was gone. That's when I put my hand on my knife. 
Because I figured if somebody get hurt in him, I ain't going to be the last one, see? I said, Miss Rudolph, please tell me what happened to the tarantula. She said, that ain't none of your goddamn business. But if you don't bring me that turkey, you will see him again. So when I left the house, I'm thinking turkey. There's a big pretty bird in my goddamn mind, see? I don't give a shit if she's in Timbuktu, the bitch got a turkey coming for me. So I get out to the car, not two of them, he don't want to get out the car. I said, nigga, you better get your ass up out of this car. But shit, I done been through in there. I kick you on one of them big foot. I just said that to him, I wouldn't really kick him. See, but nigga made me mad, shit. So I helped him out the car. We walk up to the house, this nigga power house like motherfucking feet is hurting him. I'm trying not to laugh at him because he's my father. So I help him in the house. He get in the house and see all them bugs and shit crawling around. He try to lift his feet up, but he's scared. So them feet hurting, them bugs is fucking with him. All he can do is go, move, move. I said, nigga, sit your ass down. Fuck them bugs. Just pretend like it's furniture. <laughs> so the nigga, he eased down on the couch. He had to ease down because he got the pile. <laughs> He eased up. Yeah, this bitch done fuck with him. See? Tore his ass up. He eased now, stretched his feet out. Just about that time, she come from out the back, back room, had a big wash pan. And she said a few words over it. You know? Then she squatted and pissed. That's right, she pissed for 15 minutes. Old strong ammonia pissed too. Then she slid the pot over by the boy's feet. I said, Junior, put your feet in that. Well, I'm sure enough trying not to laugh now. Nah, well, if this nigga put his feet in his piss, it's all over for me, see. I said, go ahead, go on. <laughs> because I'm going to talk about his ass 44 years he put his feet in his piss. Well, I guess the nigga said, nothing from nothing leave nothing. <laughs> so he put his foot in there. Put the other one, the other one almost didn't fit in there. So, oh, God, this bitch going to piss some more. So I pushed his foot down, got covered up, water come next to bubbling and boiling, sparks start flying, goddamn bugs was running all crazy, bat was flying around, monkeys start shitting everywhere. That's when I took my knife out there, see. And she ran over and stroked this nigga with the monkey's foot, and he was trembling like that. I tried to get the door open, it was locked. I start stabbing this motherfucker like this. <laughs> then all of a sudden, it got real quiet. And the piss turned blue. And I said, holy Jesus, holy Jesus. Because I ain't never seen no blue piss. Well, the boy eased his feet out the piss and there was healthy. The nigga had healthy feet. But it was real tiny. The nigga had little baby feet. I said, Junior, look at your feet. He looked down, seen the feet. The nigga went berserk. Killed the monkey. Threw the bat out the window. Start kicking that bitch in the air. And them little feet was going like this. Nigga wore out three pair of kneecaps, kicking her in the air. And he snatched the monkey foot off her neck, swallowed that. Well, he shouldn't have done that. Well, they came and got his ass and took him to the zoo. And you can see him if you go down there. He's the polar bear. With little tiny feet. The worst thing about jail is uh, that your woman come and visit you, man. And they get funky when a nigga's locked up. Why'd you be eight inches of glass? You can't reach them motherfuckers. <laughs> right? And she'd be talking about, I never did like your mom. <laughs> Who are you talking to? <laughs> talking to you, nigga. You the one in jail. <laughs> and fucking everybody.
Please, God, just let my fingers ease through this smoke. <laughs> but you be in love and shit, you don't want nobody in your puss. Right? Especially you find one that fits. You don't want no motherfucker stretching your pussy out of shape. <laughs> yeah. Woman get ready to leave, you have an argument about the pussy. Right? Oh, baby, please don't leave. Take the TV, but leave the pussy, please. Me and my lady, boy. I don't mind women leaving me, though, see? But they tell you why. Yeah, fuck that. Just leave. <laughs> right? Because ain't shit you can say when they're talking to you. Right? You know it's true. All you can do is stand there and look silly. Right? <laughs> right? And shit gets too thick, right? Niggas got a great answer. Well, fuck it then. Take your shit and get out. Yeah, motherfucker, pack this shit. You packing shit? Pack this motherfucking shit. You fucking with me, goddamn? I don't give a fuck. If you put it under your drawers, I don't give a fuck where you put this shit. Dude, I'm gonna find me some new pussy. <laughs> Women come back at your ass, all right? You had two more inches of dick, you'd find some new pussy here. <laughs> No, so you just trying to fuck with me, see? You no, know, you don't want me to jump on your ass so you have something to say when you leave. Uh, uh-uh, I ain't going for that shit. I know the dick was good to you. If it wasn't good, why was you hollering? I was hollering to keep from laughing in your face. <laughs> Not all the time. <laughs> You have to regroup on a woman, Jack, you know. Because they outthink our ass. But we outreason them motherfuckers, see. If we get two minutes, and all we got to do is get two minutes, but it's hard to break them motherfuckers up when they get a roll going. They leave you in the middle of four babbling. <laughs> you have to go to your psychology bag on their ass. Hey, 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 fuck all this argument, you know what I mean? Let's see. Just, just, just take your time, pack this shit. All right, take your time. Pack your shit. Put your shit in the bag. Is that bag gonna be big enough? Cause if not, you can use one of mine. Uh, you cool? You got money and everything? Cause I guess you don't need no money. You cool? Good. No, what do you mean? Why am I being? I just wanted to be right. Shit, I can't make you stay if you want to leave. You just go live. You understand? We started off as human beings. I want to end it. All you have to do is find another way out of here other than that door. <laughs> Cause you try to leave me, bitch, I'm okay, you ass. I'll put the motherfucking bag down. I just put the goddamn bag on. <laughs> and the matter you get, the calmer the woman gets, lady. Like, get your ass off, goddammit! I'm leaving. I don't ever want to see your ass again! Don't worry, you won't. Ah! I'm gonna kill the dog because I ain't gonna feed the motherfucker! Get your ass away! Come in. Why didn't you bite the bitch? <laughs> Shit. I had one lady left me. She had a dog, and when she left, the dog came up and talked to me. My dog, hey, Rich, uh, I'm fixing the split. I know it's been a pleasure, don't get me wrong, you know what I mean, but you a little tardy with the food, nigga. And she feed the motherfucker three times a day, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna check you out. You take care. Yeah. I'm gonna leave a little piss over here for you to remember me by. <laughs> take care. <laughs> Can I get some water? Does anyone have any water? No. Just some clear water. Oh, you want some? Oh. 
Thank you very much. Two fifty, nigga said. <laughs> the nigga was serious too. <laughs> he was not joking. Hey, I drank this because sometimes you be up here now and you get the white and shit all on the side of your lips. You know, it'd be nasty looking. You know? And you niggas wouldn't tell me either, right? You know, but you'd be sitting out there looking, look at that nasty motherfucker. Man. This, yeah, a show would help you a little ice in this motherfucker. God damn. This is some nasty shit without some ice. Huh? No, nigga, don't put your big motherfucking hand in it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Woo! If your dick anything like your hands, I feel sorry for your woman. <laughs> White folks, they date differently. See, they go on the night and kiss the girls good night at the door. Don't even think about no pussy. This big. Good night, dear. Been a pleasure being with you. <laughs> Get home. <laughs> Nigga spend thirty four dollars, he gonna fuck somebody. Well that's the bottom line. <laughs> somebody giving up some a good night kiss. <laughs> Because you can see that guy. Say, bitch, what is that? The fuck you mean, good night? Yeah, well, somebody in there gonna fuck. Yeah, well, wake up your daddy. Yeah, I'll wait. <laughs> and black fathers understand that shit, too. They come and say, nigga, what's wrong with you all that goddamn noise? I'm gonna tell you what's wrong, motherfucker. Bitch, $35. Good night. That's what's wrong. You spent $35 on my baby. She didn't give you no... Hey, Gloria. Get your ass down here. You better get this nigga something before I have to hurt him. $35 is a lot of money. Goddamn. You must be rich, nigga. Oh, you are, huh? Wake up your mama, too. Ladies are beautiful. They are beautiful. We love you very much. Good. Because you know why? Because ladies don't fart. They know ladies don't fart. Women poop. Right? They go, poop. Excuse me. I made a smelly. <laughs> no, bitch. I think you shit. <laughs> Women are funny, though. They can regroup out of anything, right? You ever be making love and air get in the pussy? Right? It'd be poop, 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 poop. <laughs> Women recover beautiful, right? It'd be, it's talking to your daddy. <laughs> White chicks is too scary. They make that weird noise when you're going to have the same. Ooh. Ah. Right, pictures of Jesus hanging around looking at your ass. Black church, you get a show with your money. White church, all they do is Jesus was one for God. Black church, they do that. Our text for today concerns life in the beginning as it manifests itself through the eternal complexities of renunciation as opposed to just the position of the inferior mind. Uh, let us turn our text to uh, oh, something wrong. Let's turn our text to the Book of Wonder. 
let's say a boy was born in Hot Town, Mississippi, surrounded by four walls that were not pretty. His parents, that's two people, give him love and affection just to keep him strong, moving in the right direction. Give him just enough. I said, just enough for the sit down. Then he ship on your ass, right? <laughs> if you can know. You know, I first met God in 1929. I never will forget this. You see, I was walking down the street. I don't believe you heard me. I said I was walking down the street. I was not running. I was <laughs> eating a tuna fish sandwich. And I heard this voice call unto me. And I knew it was the voice of God. For it came from without a dark alleyway. As only the voice of God can come. However, my brothers and sisters, I did not venture down that dark alleyway, for it might not have been the voice of God, but two or three niggas with a baseball bat. God only knows, and he wasn't talking, and I wasn't walking. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Richard Pryor. Richard Pryor. Let's get your hands together and give him a big San Francisco round of applause. Mr. Richard Pryor. Come on, give it up. Thank you. Good evening. Hope I'm funny. Yeah, because I know niggas ready to kick ass. I'm like, you better be funny, motherfucker. Hello. Wow. This is very exciting. Very exciting. I'm glad y'all came. Came? Yeah, glad y'all come to the show. What? Don't start no shit now. <laughs> Niggas be starting to fight and shit in the club. Pull out a pistol and shit, clear everything out. Niggas never get burned up in buildings. They know how to get out of a motherfucking situation. They do. They do. White folks just panic, run to the door, fall all over each other, choke to death and shit. Niggas get outside and argue. I left my money in the motherfucker. Why am I walking? I'm running to keep out of y'all's way. I be moving shit, making my mind work. And feet, and feet. You know, tight shoes make a nigga say anything. You ever been like, if you have tight shoes on, tight shoes is a motherfucker, brother. They don't need to beat up no nigga down in jail to make him confess. Give him a size too small. About an hour, that nigga be, I'll tell. I used to be really so poor, I'd walk down the street. You ever do that? Look for money? Yeah. Come out. And pretending like you ain't, huh? <laughs> I used to lose money. I lost some money once, man. I lost money, man. My mother gave me money to go pay a light bill. I lost $10. Panic. Because I know I'm going to kick my ass. You know what I mean? That $10, Jack. And I walked up, and this white dude saw me crying on the corner. He said, what's wrong with you, boy? 
I told him my story. The cat gave me $10. I said, what? Gave me 10 bucks? Shit, I was out there every day. <laughs> How you doing? Did you, did you want a drink? Oh, uh, waitress? Waitress? No, let's see. The waitresses are working as fast as they can. But see, you niggas have funny arts. Uh, give me uh, cutty and uh, orange juice and uh, coke on the side. No, wait, change that. Give me two. What you want, baby? Bring my old lady a champagne cocktail with a cherry twist. Piece of lemon. Piece of lemon. Hey, bitch, I wasn't through. Piece of lemon and, and some turtle soup. <laughs> drinking, drinking ain't cool. Drinking ain't cool. None of this shit's cool. I remember at home, man, dudes used to drink and shit and then want to fight. Some niggas drink, you know, and have a seizure. You know what I mean? You know, everybody know one nigga that's drinking. Every weekend get his ass whooped. He never wins a fight, but he always wants to fight. You know what I mean? Nice guy during the week. Hi, 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 yo. We get out of my face! You go to the bar, man. You see him in the bar, can't be in the bar. He fucked up. He starts, no, man, leave me alone, nigga. <laughs> Shit, you ain't got to fuck with me, baby. <laughs> Keeps me some money. <laughs> I'm my old shit, man. <laughs> Say, man, bartender, nigga, give me my whiskey. <laughs> what? <laughs> fuck you, me, I'm drunk, motherfucker. <laughs> you crazy. Shit, you didn't say that an hour ago. <laughs> you were selling me that shit. <laughs> Baby, I'm buying everybody in here something. <laughs> Give me a beer for everybody. One motherfucking beer. <laughs> Woo! Sing that song, you bitch. <laughs> That motherfucker sitting her ass off of me. <laughs> Woo, shit. What you looking at, bitch? <laughs> Ugly motherfucker. <laughs> so ain't nobody fucking with you. <laughs> I didn't say nothing to you. No, I don't know what time it is. It's time for you to stop fucking with me. <laughs> Yeah. You dig that thing? What? What is it, nigga? I don't care if that's your mom. <laughs> nah, don't hold me, motherfucker. Nah, nigga, you don't hit me, baby. Nah, motherfucker, you in trouble now, baby. Leave that shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, please! Oh Lord, don't let me be sick. Frankie, get me home, baby. Please. Oh man, don't drive so fast. Oh please, don't stop. Oh, Put down the window. Oh please, put it up. It's too cold. Oh, Oh Lord, please, Lord, I'll quit, I'll quit, I'll never make it back out, please. Everything's going jibbity 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 jibbity. Please, I'm not going to go. Right here. Thank you, partner. Motherfucker kicked me in the ass, but I killed him, motherfucker. Oh. Make up your mind, God, please. <laughs> I ain't got nothing left to throw up but my nuts. <laughs> ha 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 Oh shit. <laughs> hey baby! Open this door, bitch. <laughs> Open the motherfucking door, baby. Hey, hey, 
mama. Good morning to you. What's wrong with you, bitch? What you screaming on me for? I've been out in the street trying to protect your honor. Shit, I damn near had to kill a nigga about you. They don't pull me off his ass. I know my breast ain't big enough, but some vomit. Give me wipe my mouth off here, mama. You's a fine motherfucker, baby. Come here. Come here, bitch. Move your hand. Let me play that titty. <laughs> Move your mouth, man. I'm going to fuck you tonight, baby. Leave that shit. <laughs> Some fucking is good for you, though, Jack. Getting some pussy beats having a war. I ain't lying. <clears throat> Coming is a lot of fun. Because I never got no pussy when I was a legal teenager. Not much girls. Oh, I don't fuck you. You can't even sing. You had to sing or something to get some pussy. <laughs> right, girls used to do horrible shit to a nigga. Because right, they wasn't giving up no pussy. In the 50s, it was very seldom you got any parts of pussy. <laughs> right? You'd be tongue kissing and shit, Jack. Dick get hard in times in 29. <laughs> right? Nuts go all up in your stomach. You ever had that? You know, you be, oh, you gotta give me some now. <laughs> I'm not giving anything. I'm on my period. <laughs> you on your period again? You're gonna bleed to death, bitch. <laughs> hey, not try to get home before 11, because that's when my father had me be home by 11. My father was on them 11 o'clock niggas. Say, say, where you going, Rich? Say, huh? But nigga, you ain't asked nobody because you go no place. What the fuck, you a man now, nigga? Get a job, that's what you have. I don't give a fuck where you go be, be home by 11. You understand 11, don't you, nigga? You can't tell time, can't you? Well, what's that clock say in the kitchen, nigga? The clock, motherfucker, what's the clock say? 11 o'clock, bring your ass him. I don't mean down the street singing with them niggas either. I ain't getting your ass out of jail no more, motherfucker. That's right. Bring me back a paper. <laughs> Right? And you go out, nothing start happening until 11.30. Right? All the dudes be just standing around and shit. I said, what you waiting on, man? 11.30. We're going to pitch a bitch at 11.30. And I'd have to get home, man, with my blue nuts all that. Oh. Oh, God. You don't get home. Nigga, I thought I told you to be home by 11. I don't want to hear that shit. I'm going to kick your ass. Can I jack off first? <laughs> my uncles and then my family only fucked in one position, up and down. <laughs> and then my uncle, like, boy, don't you ever kiss no pussy. I don't mean that. Whatever you do in life, don't kiss no pussy. I couldn't wait to kiss the pussy. <laughs> He'd been wrong about everything else. <laughs> the woman had to beat me off. It's enough, it's enough, please, please. Oh, two days. <laughs> <laughs> And dudes, huh? You crazy. Yeah. <laughs> you ever be with a woman you wanted to be with for a long time, man, and you finally get with her, and you come in about four seconds, and you be panicked, Jack, trying to be cool. Oh, God. <laughs> Lord, don't let her know. Just let it stay heavy, if not hard. <laughs> You're not moving as much as you were. I'm just resting a little. Uh, I want you to enjoy this. <laughs> White folks do things a lot different than niggas. They eat quiet as shit you be on out of me. Pass the potatoes. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Could I have a bit of that sauce? How are the kids coming along with their studies? 
Think we'll be having sexual intercourse this evening? <laughs> We're not. Well, what the heck? Black families be different, have more rhythm. Shit, my father, when we ate, it was fun because he made noise and shit. Hey, bitch, where the food? <laughs> goddamn, mama, come on. Shit. Oh, you motherfucker, you shit. Oh, goddamn it. Shit. Pass shit, nigga, kiss my ass. <laughs> Better get that meat down that bowl, motherfucker. Think you're doing shit, right? And I got an auntie, man. My aunt man seen, man, can suck a neck bone. It's a work of art. I mean, she can fuck with a neck bone, bro. She'd be all in and get that white shit out of the stuff. <laughs> Throw it to the dog. Dog look at it like. What am I supposed to do with that mother? <laughs> Different lifestyles. See, white folks don't play enough. They don't relax. They don't know how to play the dozens, nothing. <laughs> right? They get uptight. You tell a white dude, go fuck yourself. I'll fuck you, motherfucker. He gets very offended. I beg your pardon. <laughs> I mean, as supervisor here, I don't believe that kind of language is necessary. <laughs> we certainly can communicate on a higher plane than that. <laughs> <laughs> don't say nothing about their mom. They go, my mom? She was a great old gal. White folks fuck quiet, too. Right? I've seen y'all in the movies. You don't make no noise. I go to the movies. I be watching white folks. and be... <laughs> Niggas make noise. They be, oh, you motherfucker. Oh, goddamn, man. Oh, don't move now, bitch. Oh, shit. A lot of you people look at me, I see some people in the audience, older people in the audience be going, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Boy, you ought to be shaming yourself. I ain't lying, Junior. <laughs> That's the way my grandmother treats me, right? <laughs> Did y'all see The Exorcist? This is a story about the devil. Gets into this 12-year-old girl. Devil's a low motherfucker, Jack. <laughs> See, there wouldn't have been no movie if there had been niggas in it. The movie would have been about seven minutes long. As soon as the devil spoke. Hello. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> See, a nigga would have handled that movie different. The nigga would have walked in the house and went, What in the fuck is that funky smell? <laughs> and all that racket upstairs. Is the girl crazy? <laughs> Smell like shit in here. <laughs> Some devilish shit at that. <laughs> Man, you walk in the room. Bitch, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Get up out of bed, wash your ass, girl. <laughs> Stinking up the whole motherfucking house. And get the cross out your pussy. <laughs> get downstairs and help your mother straighten up the front room. We have them coming in. <laughs> See, I get a black preacher to pray the exorcist away. Because they tight with God. You know God. There's a person in here that's possessed. And we was wondering, I know you're busy. I've checked your schedule. And if you don't mind, the devil's just acting a motherfucking fool. Could you exercise this motherfucker to Cleveland someplace? <laughs> Winos deal with it, though, right? Winos never get afraid of nothing but running out of wine. That's the only thing that panic a wino. Wino could deal with Dracula. <laughs> right, anybody. Hey, man! Say, nigga, you with the cake. What you doing picking in them people's window? What's your name, boy? Dragula? What kind of name is that for a nigga? Where you from, fool? Transylvania? I know where it is, nigga. You ain't the smartest motherfucker in the world, you know. Even though you is the ugliest. 
Oh yeah, you ugly motherfucker. Why don't you get your teeth fixed, nigga? That shit hanging all out your mouth. Why don't you go get you an awful donuts? That's a dentist, you know, huh? huh? This is 1975, boy, get your shit together. What's wrong with your natural? <laughs> Got that dirt all on the back of your neck. You's a filthy little motherfucker, too. You got to be home before the sun come up. You ain't lying, motherfucker. <laughs> See your ass in the day, you like to get arrested. <laughs> you wanna suck what? <laughs> suck some black niggas, you You some kind of freak, boy? A ugly freak? You ain't sucking nothing here, Junior. <laughs> suck your ass on away from here, what you better do. Want to suck some blood, go down to the blood bank, you know? Hope you get sick of cell. <laughs> A lot of niggas ain't scared. You know what I mean? You know, like when the Martians landed and shit, white folks got scared. I'm a, golly, I'll tell you, just a big old helicopter thing came down, landed, people got all, had that fur all over their body, big old claw hands and shit, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Nothing can scare a nigga after 400 years of this shit. <laughs> I mean, right, the Martian ain't got a chance. A nigga warned the Martian, better get your ass away from around here. You done landed on Mr. Gilmore's property. <laughs> if he landed in New York, a nigga take his shit from him. Give up. You got to give up the flying saucer, baby. Because I'm a macaroni. <laughs> you know what I mean? He be cruising. Nigga be cruising. Oh, yeah. It's sweet. How much is petrol? 82 million a gallon? Fuck this machine. <laughs> Orwell would fight the police. He's one of them crazy shoot me niggas. Well, kill me! Shoot me, motherfucker! Pay oh, shit. Oh, goddamn. Somebody call me a cab. Damn, I'm gonna bleed to death waiting on an ambulance. There ain't no way to get an ambulance in the ghetto, right? Unless you call up, there's five niggas killing the white woman. Where's the money? <laughs> Police would fuck with all that shit. All right, move on. Say, Mr. Officer, do you know who you fucking with? I'm all well. Six foot five, 422 pounds of man. Why you hit me with that stick? I'm gonna bite your dick. <laughs> Bleed some blood shit. Shit, I ain't bullshitting. They had some fight niggas, though. Some niggas would fight, didn't argue. What? Some dudes would talk to you while they kicked your ass, right? Why you wanna fuck with me, man? <laughs> shit. Somebody get this nigga off of me. <laughs> what? I didn't know the nigga was blind. <laughs> Come on, man. Why don't you get you a dog or something, nigga? <laughs> Stepping on people's feet and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I used to try to fight and shit. I know how to back down. I had a lot of practices in Peoria. I was in every game. They had about five. I was in all of them. Whichever one was winning. This is my side. Because I wasn't fighting shit. Nigga made me unball my fist once. Show you how scared I was. <laughs> I had my fist up ready. He said, motherfucker, put your hand down. <laughs> no heart for the fighting. Believe me. <laughs> Cause like the motherfucker make you back down so nasty. You know what I mean? It's embarrassing. Once was enough for me. Cause I was gonna be go for bad for about four weeks, hanging with my man Matt. Matt was bad, knocking motherfuckers out. Ping, ping, go on, Matt. All right. <laughs> he was killer, Jack. Man, Henry Hanson. Henry Hanson would knock a motherfucker through a brick wall. 
Matt, back off. And then I'm standing there all alone. And uh, what you got to do with a little nigga? I, I was just, I, was, I come over with Matt, my friend. I wasn't doing anything, man. I was gonna play some basketball. Can I go now? <laughs> men and women fight a lot. See, white women and white men, they seldom ever have fist fights. They'd be going intellectually hurting each other, so they say. No, a white woman says funny shit to a man. Your dick is short and you can't even scroll. <laughs> right, and the white dude goes, we'll discuss it tomorrow. <laughs> you say that shit to a nigga, you gotta fight. <laughs> this is your friend. I remember my mother and father was fighting once. I was going to jump in, Jack. That my mother, motherfucker. Beat this shit out of me. <laughs> Nigga, what the fuck? Is, yeah, motherfucker. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right, nigga. That's my mama. That's my woman, motherfucker. Don't ever marry a white woman in California. A lot of you sisters probably don't marry white women anyway, nigga. Shit. Sure. Why should you be happy? <laughs> Sisters look at you though like you killed your mama when you're out with a white woman, don't they? You can't laugh that shit off either. <laughs> She's not with me. My wife went to court, man. She looked like she was 12 years old. I said, who is that bitch? And your honor, everything happened. <laughs> Judge started crying. <laughs> Nigga, we want everything. <laughs> Do you have any dreams? We want them too. <laughs> Cops put a hurting on your ass, man. You know, they really degrade you. White folks don't believe that shit. Don't believe cops degrade. Oh, come on. Those beatings, those people are resisting arrest. I'm tired of this harassment of police officers. Because the police live in your neighborhood, see? And you be known them as Officer Timpson. Hello, Officer Timpson, going bowling tonight? <laughs> yes, uh, nice pinto you have. <laughs> Niggas don't know them like that. See, white folks get a ticket, they pull over. Hey, officer, yes, glad to be of help. Hey, oh. <laughs> Nigger got to be talking about, I am reaching into my pocket for my license. Cause I don't want to be no motherfucking accident. <laughs> Police degrade. I don't know. You know, it's awful. You wonder why a nigga don't go completely mad. You know, you do. You get your shit together. You work all week, right? And then you get dressed. You make it. Maybe say, can't make $125. We get $80 if he's lucky. <laughs> Right, and he go out, get clean, be driving with his old lady, going out to a club, and police pull over. Get out of the car! That was a robbery! A nigga looks just like you! All right, put your hands up, take your pants down, spread your cheeks. Now, what nigga feel like having fun after that? <laughs> oh, let's just go home, baby. You go home, beat your kids and shit. You gonna take that shit out on somebody. Winos don't get drunk like everybody else, though, right? Wino be directing traffic on Sunday morning. That was my favorite thing about the winos. Because I used to, I didn't want to go to church, so I'd hang with them. Wino be standing there. Hey, fool, you better slow that car down! Goddamn, don't come driving down through here like you, crazy! This is a neighborhood, this ain't no residential district! <laughs> Nigga, I know Jesus. Shit, I remember when the boy got killed. That's for real, man. It was on a Friday down at the railroad depot. I tried to warn the nigga. I said, boy, don't you go down there fucking with them Jews without no money. <laughs> hey, ice cream boy. You want to turn that goddamn noise off? Don't nobody want to hear that shit this time of morning. Well, jump on out there, nigga. You bad. I got something for your ass. I'm a veteran, boy. 
I was in World War I, the Battle of the Chateau Briand. I got mustard gas wounds all over my body. <laughs> Who's that boy? That Junior. Look at that nigga. Look at him in the middle of the street, junkie motherfucker. Look at that. <laughs> nigga used to be a genius. I ain't lying, booked the numbers, didn't need paper or pencil. <laughs> now the nigga can't remember who he is. <laughs> Say, nigga, get your ass out the street, boy! <whistles> Move out the way, boy! Ah. <laughs> What's happening? What's happening? <laughs> Shit, I know something happening, cause everything's moving, <laughs> baby. Hey, Pop! Come on, old motherfucker. I'll dust your ass off, baby. <laughs> hey, Pop, you got anything to do? Straight me out, baby. Yeah, nigga, I got something for you, man. Got some advice. You better lay off that narcotic, nigga. That shit done made you null and void. <laughs> I ain't lying, boy. What's wrong with you? Why don't you straighten up and get a job? Get a job? What the fuck are you talking to the kid? <laughs> Baby? Shit. I worked five years in a row when I was in the joint. <laughs> Pressing them motherfucking license plates. I'm a license plate pressing motherfucker too, baby. Shoot. Where that nigga gonna get a job out here pressing license plates? Pop, nigga, listen to me. Don't you hit me no more, boy. I'll dust your old junky ass off. You know I will, nigga. You're right with me, boy. I'm just shame to see you like that. Shame to see me. <laughs> what about this shit out here? Niggas is fucking with me, man. <laughs> Was I finished? <laughs> I went to the unemployment bureau, baby. Bitch sitting behind the desk, all the motherfuckers. Come tell me, tell me, you have a criminal record. I said, I know that, bitch. I'm a criminal. Just tell me why I'm going to get a job. Ugly, bitch. I see your better faces on iodine, Baba. <laughs> this made me mad, yeah. I vomited this shit on the floor. Make that nigga with that pistol down there clean it up. <laughs> nigga talking about clean up that vomit, motherfucker. <laughs> I, I said, fuck you, nigga. I ain't clean that shit up. <laughs> you see, you don't clean that shit up. I shoot your ass. I said, well, who gonna clean up the blood, nigga? <laughs> When I signed, man, I was cleaning a broke dick dog too, baby. <laughs> so bitch was so fine. Woo! Shout votes to my heart, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, you wouldn't know a fine woman if you tripped over. <laughs> this bitch was fine, but I ain't man. Bitch was so fine, I wanted to suck her daddy's dick. Is that fine enough for your ass? <laughs> I am pushing. I went home. My dear called me a dog. <laughs> you did that? My father said, he don't want to see me in the vicinity. <laughs> Just because I stole his television. 
That's the politics, baby. I'm sick, Pop. Wanna can you help me? My mind's thinking about shit I don't wanna think about. I can't stop the motherfucker, baby. Moving too fast for the kid. <laughs> Tell me some of that old lies of yours to make me stop thinking about the truth. <laughs> Would you help me? Yeah, I'm gonna help you, boy. Cause I believe you got potential. <laughs> that's right. You don't know how to deal with the white man. That's your problem. I know how to deal with him. That's right. That's why I'm in the position I'm in today. <laughs> Thank you very much. Good night.